Hi everyone, this is Suzanne Wagner. Thank you so much for joining me. I am doing the numerology and astrology for March 13th, 2022. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 13. And if you add the one and the three together, you get the neutral mind number four. Now this number is a number of negotiation and diplomacy, which is clearly something that's not happening at the moment. This number yearns for a better balance in the world. It hopefully wants us to go back to sanity and boundaries very soon. This is a number that is, is it likes fairness and justice. It implies that one person cannot destroy a country just to get even or to get what it wants. Again, a lesson that a particular leader did not learn in life yet. I find a new balance in this changing world will often have to tilt way off the axis in order to find a better alignment with the shifts that naturally occur in this rapidly progressing time. May that new balance find its center quickly. Um, lives are at stake and the safety of the world is standing on a knife's edge. The astrology for today. The moon amplifies the need for protection for those we love and cherish, but moves into the warm and engaging sign of Leo mid-afternoon. Helping and sharing are more generous under this influence. Mars and Mercury will move into a semi-sextile and that makes some make rash decisions and choices and others uncertain and hesitant. Choices seem difficult to see in the darkness of our current situations. Know that the outcomes into the future are not certain it is a perilous moment and the world tips in erratic ways that cause concern. Neptune is still aligning with the sun and that supports us being in a generous mood, but we can still feel the malice that intends to undermine alliances. Listen to your intuition and know that what is being whispered might be very important to your future. Look for the less obvious solutions, know that alternatives exist and will help us define a new boundary. We need our dreams in a peaceful world to become a new reality. We need a world that holds all life in great value. Thanks everyone.